Mercy Chaplet for Kids. Hello, children. Welcome to the Sanctuary of Divine Mercy. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm Sister Faustina, and I want to introduce you to my friends. Hello. This is Kristen, Ava, Enrique, and Joseph. We're here to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Excuse me, Sister Faustina. What is it, Kristen? What is the Chaplet of Divine Mercy? It's a very beautiful prayer that's recited all over the world to ask Jesus to forgive us for all the times we've offended Him. Let me tell you about something that happened to me many years ago. One day, I was praying in my room when all of a sudden I saw Jesus. Make an image of what you see and write upon it, Jesus, I trust in you. I want this image to be venerated all over the world. From that moment, I dedicated my whole life to telling the world about Jesus' mercy. He awaits with open arms to forgive us through the priest when we take part in the sacrament of confession. Now I understand. At the moment of confession, the priest is Jesus himself. Of course, it's Jesus who forgives us. Does divine mercy mean that Jesus always forgives us? That's right. When we pray the chaplet, we're offering God our Father the sacrifice that Jesus made to atone for our sins and those of the whole world. Jesus' suffering is a great treasure, isn't it, Sister Faustina? That's right. It's a spiritual treasure that is guarded by the church. Well, I'd like to learn to pray the chaplet. Very well. Let's go into the sanctuary to pray. Now we're going to say the chaplet before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. We say the chaplet holding a rosary in our hands. Do you all have a rosary? Very good. Now let's start by saying the Lord's Prayer. Are you all ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Good. Now we say a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now we'll say the Apostles' Creed. Sister Faustina? What is it, Enrique? I don't know the Apostles' Creed. Neither do I. <laughs> That's all right. We can all pray together. I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, earth and, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, His, His only, only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into, into hell. The third the day He rose again, again from the dead. dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and, and is seated at the right hand of God, God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. Amen. Excellent. You prayed very well. Now let's continue with our rosaries in our hands. Pay attention. We'll begin the first decade. As if we were going to say the rosary, right? That's right. In the first decade, we contemplate Jesus praying in the Olive Garden. But instead of saying the Lord's Prayer, we say a very beautiful prayer which goes like this. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Look, Jesus is praying. 
He knows he's going to suffer a lot for us, and he's offering his sacrifice to the Father. We have to learn to ask God to forgive our sins, which are the cause of Jesus' suffering. Lord, please forgive me for all the bad things I've done today. I fought with my brothers, and I didn't do what my mom and dad said. For all these things, Jesus, please forgive me and have mercy on me. At the end of every decade, we say the following prayer. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now, all together. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. This prayer is usually said ten times, but we'll only say it once. Is that because we're children? That's right. Once will be enough. In the second decade, we contemplate the scourging of Jesus. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. They're beating Jesus with a whip. I feel so sorry for him, Sister Faustina. He was humiliated for us and he didn't protest. We can learn from Jesus to do humble tasks with joy. You mean like taking out the trash every night? That's a great idea. Or washing the dishes after dinner, right? That's right. When we do the jobs that nobody else wants to do, God is pleased with us. Let's pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. During the third decade, we contemplate Jesus being crowned with thorns. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. <laughs> Hail, O King of the Jews! The soldiers placed a crown of thorns on his head and laughed at him. But Jesus forgave them. We can learn from Jesus always to forgive. I'm sorry, Joseph. I took your ball without asking permission. It's okay, I forgive you, just like Jesus always forgives us. Let's pray. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. During the fourth decade, we contemplate Jesus carrying the cross. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Jesus wanted to carry the cross on his own shoulders. Come on, walk faster. At this rate, we're never going to get there. We can learn from Jesus always to pray, even when it's very hard for us. Jesus, right now I'd like to be playing with my friends, but I know that you're waiting for me in the tabernacle and I wanted to come to be with you for a while. Very good, Joseph. Jesus is very happy with you. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. During the fifth decade, we contemplate Jesus on the cross. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. The soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. We can learn from Jesus to offer our struggles to God and always trust in his help. Jesus, I'm going to study really hard for the test tomorrow. I offer you all the hard work I'm doing and I trust in your help to get a good grade. Let us pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sister Faustina, have we finished praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy? Well, to finish it, all we have to do is pray a very short but very beautiful prayer three times. Listen carefully. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy, holy God, God, Holy Mighty One, Mighty one holy, holy Immortal One, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy, holy God, God, Holy Mighty One, Holy, holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sister Faustina, what does divine mercy mean? Divine mercy is God's forgiveness when we're not good Catholics or when we don't do what we should, obeying our parents, studying, helping others. Is that why we say the chaplet? Yes. God wants us to become closer to him by praying with him always and offering the chaplet for everyone in the world who doesn't love God. Well, I'm going to say the chaplet every single day. I think that's a wonderful idea. We also have to love and forgive others, as God loves and forgives us. But when do we receive God's mercy? God forgives our sins through the sacrament of confession. Jesus is very happy when we say to him, with all our heart, Jesus, I trust in you. for ourselves and 